There is one thing that I deeply understand about my life, and it is that light is present within every atom, cell, and space of my co-creation. That means God is everything. And that, it's, that in itself has allowed me to sort of approach my reality, my own perception of this reality in a different way. There was a time in my radical spiritual awakenings where I was unable to integrate a lot of my own darkness. I really kind of shunned and wouldn't want to connect with anything that I felt was dark. I found over time that it's beneficial to integrate the darkness within ourselves by acknowledging the inherent light within the dark. I realized that we have to become very disciplined. We can't have ourselves remain on like a slippery slope because that's what the dark forces are wanting from us is to fall into that frequency, is to continue to subconsciously drive that narrative. So it is important for us when we are observing or listening, watching, being entertained by anything that is obviously bringing up that negative polarity, that dark force within ourselves, it's very important for us to be the ones to say no. A lot of times, you know, our friends, our family, people around us, you know, even people we work with might subtly gaslight us and want us to continue to indulge in some of those things. But we must be intelligent enough to check in somatically to that yes or no. Is our body saying this is good or is our body saying this is bad? And so we no longer allow other people to speak for us and our trauma doesn't rule our narrative. The dark forces can't get us. We're no longer allowing ourselves to be in those arenas. So we get to a place of sanctuary. There's a purity, there's a grace in this integration. I'm not saying the darkness isn't there. Yes, it's integrated fully in our consciousness into a higher frequency of light. That's what we are learning to embody. We're not settling in those lower, darker places of ourselves. We really have to work diligently and become very disciplined to keep going, keep moving through the pain, keep asking the difficult questions we're choosing that better version of ourselves. Inevitably, this will affect our relationships, the places we go, the things we do, the people that we work with, and the experiences that we allow in our life.